In today's Chef's Quick Tip with News 12 Connecticut's Tina Redwine, learn the secret to adding flavor to many Mexican dishes. I'm Tina Redwine with Chef. Bryce Medina from Rio Salado Restaurant in Mystic. Fran, you're teaching us the tip of rehydrating chilies. Now, why is that so important? So chilies are the basis of Mexican cuisine. So many to be enjoyed and rehydrating them and cooking them the right way really adds so much flavor and depth to your food. Right now I have pasilla chilies. This is all chill, also called chili negro. It's a very dark chili, very mild. Um, you can also use guajilla, guajillo. The first thing I like to do is I like to toast them. This kind of brings out the flavor. It opens them up a little bit. It's just a five seconds on each side. And so after they're toasted, you're going to take off the stem. And if it is a spicy chili, you can easily rip it open and take out the seeds. If this is boiling hot water, I'm going to put them straight in. And what you want to do is you want to just barely cover the chilies. Sometimes I use a plate to weigh them down because they sometimes they'll float up to the top. So these, these are going to sit for about 10 minutes and the water will change color. And once that happens, you can use these chilies for anything. You can put it in a salsa with some tomatoes, caramelized onions, garlic, and you know, once you blend that all together, you've got an incredible salsa. If you want to try and make a marinade, you can easily, you know, add a little vinegar to that mixture and you can marinate some skirt steak or chicken. And you can use basilla chilies, guajillo, um, chili cascabel. You'll find these all at the grocery store in the little bags. And we'll have all that information online. Just search for News 12 Connecticut Mexican Chilies. With Chef Fran, Tina Redwine, News 12 Connecticut.